I know that historically uh, the idea was that the brain was pretty much fixed and it didn't really change over time, but quite clearly that's not the case. Uh, the brain is in fact an enormously adaptive and has some inner knowing that it tries to make these adjustments if it's sort of damaged or affected in one area. It can, um, is there any way of understanding how that's taking place or is that just beyond us? No, no, we, we know things about plasticity, of course, and that it happens all the time whilst we're talking, our brains are changing because of anything we do or anything we hear or anything we look at makes an impression on the brain. And of course, that um, is re then reflected. So its history changes, and the moment its history changes, the brain changes. Right? There's a lot known about how this happens and uh, how um, just the mere use, and especially if it's intense use, makes a very strong impact on the brain and not only a functional impact but a structural impact as well. So the neuropeel starts growing, you have more synapses in the region that you're using a lot and so on and so forth. We know that that happens. Unused parts get, you know, small and unhappy and, 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 and the neurons look completely unhappy. They just have a few spines and you see that they're suffering and the others, they are, you know, <laughs>